We're still here at Dimension 3, and everyone knows the name NVIDIA. It's world famous for their display products and graphics cards. But maybe you don't know that NVIDIA is the first one to bring 3D into the home. Exactly. We just launched at the CES this year the GeForce 3D Vision, the first glasses for the home and for the gaming system. The GeForce card uh, creates 3D directly for all the games. You have uh, three years games. It's working for 350 games today. So you can use your games and put these glasses on your, on your face and you put it and you see the game in 3D. It's incredible. The sensation is fabulous. And you can also play movies with this as well? Exactly. You also play all stereoscopic movies, video, uh, all these kind of movies can be seen on these glasses. Now, do you need a specific NVIDIA card in order to be able to see this? So you need obviously a GeForce, so a GeForce 8 at least, so a card uh, uh, out two years ago, three years ago, so it's working fine with a GeForce 8800. So just download the 3D drivers and away you go if you've got an 8000 series or up. Exactly, you download the new drivers, you buy the kit, and you have the new screen from Samsung, for example, the 120 Hz, and you are set up to see 3D at home. And this isn't uh, the nasty red and blue glass anaglyph? No, it's stereoscopy, active stereoscopy, so it's no headache, it's perfect for vision, you have... You can see, you can stay in your PC uh, during two or three hours with no headache. So it's very kind, free, very cool. Fantastic. We're going to go take a look at it in just a second. Okay, so Stefan has got us set up with a couple of pair of glasses. By the way, these charge up by plugging them in uh, to your USB connection to recharge the glasses. How long does the charge last? Two hours. Just two hours, and you need to charge it, and you can play or m watching movies 40 hours. Can you, uh, can you go ahead and use it while it's charging? Uh, not yet. You just plug the USB uh, directly. Okay. So you got to let it charge first, and then you can go. Yes. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take a look at a movie. Show us what we can do with a movie here. We can, uh, we can see, uh, if obviously, uh, stereoscopic movies. And uh, in 3D, you will see oh, all cool. the, the relief. You see the transmitters, mm -hmm. just uh, shut on. Great. And if you want to keep to go out the 3D, just push the button and you go out the 3D. Ah, okay. So you can see the image for the right hand and the left one. Perfect. So and you go back to the 3D like this. So it's a movie. You can see all the stereoscopic movie you want. Right. All the new movie, for example, in France, we, we see uh, last night Coraline yes. 3D. You can see it in the future on this system. With no problem, it's a stereoscopic movie. You can switch all the, the two eyes. And everybody knows Avatar is coming. Yes, obviously, Avatar. Yeah, that is really the best way because you will have the product just out of the screen. And this is just a 120 hertz ViewSonic screen. Exactly. So in France, it's not available for the moment, but you have the Samsung one available. This, this one will be available this summer in France. So a 120 hertz screen, the new system for the LCD screen. Okay, excellent. Let's see some video games on this now. Okay, let's go to the video games. So in the video games, all video games uh, from uh, two or three years are compatible with our system with a plus or minus uh, quality. Uh, I will take uh, Left 4 Dead because it's a very nice game in 3D. Okay. You have also World of Warcraft. Uh, lots of games uh, are, are compatible with this system. So the graphic card here will create the 3D directly from the information in-game. So you can use your old game, maybe uh, you like uh, Age of Empire 1, and you can play with 3D. So you can rediscover your, your preferred games. So I'm in 2D, and now I am 3D. So in game, I can, I can have the, the parallax directly. I can move it and up or down the parallax for comfort. So you can create, you can change the depth based on the game and based on, based on what you're playing. Exactly. You can change the dance because it's a 3D time, real time 3D, and not a movies. So I can, it's very easy to do it. Well, Stefan, the only thing bad about this is that I've got the glasses on and you've got the glasses on, but the audience doesn't have the glasses on. They're gonna have to go out and buy an NVIDIA system in order to see it. That's all I can say, guys, go out and buy one now.